Good morning my dear students how are you all i hope you all are fine and studying well at home dear students in today's tutorial we are going to start with the next chapter chapter number 18 dealing with waste before going further with this chapter we have to know about what is waste waste is anything which is no more in use and is thrown away for example after eating banana we throw away the peel in dustbin because it is a waste similarly after eating a candy we throw away its wrapper the banana peel and the candy wrapper were protecting the food items but once they were eaten the banana peel and the candy wrapper were of no use and hence thrown away as waste before going further with this chapter we need to know how this waste can be generated almost every human activity generates waste the food we eat or water we drink generates waste in the form of excreta and urine even each household activity like cooking of food bathing etc generates lots lots of waste even waste can be generated in schools factories fields etc before going further we'll need to know about the classification of waste how we can classify the waste into different categories on the basis of uh, their generation waste can be classified into different categories impact of waste on human health on this basis waste is be classified as non toxic toxic and pathogenic waste on the basis of decaying nature of waste it is be classified as biodegradable and non biodegradable waste on the basis of sources of generation how it can be generated and where it get be generated waste can be classified as domestic waste means the waste that can be generated at homes is be known as domestic waste agricultural waste means the waste that can that can be generated at during the agricultural practices is be known as agricultural waste community waste the waste that can be generated in marriages at in the temples and at any community place that is be known as community waste industrial waste the waste that can be generated in industries is be known as industrial waste sewage sludge the waste that can be generated from the sewage that is be known as sewage sludge on the basis of the physical state of waste waste can be classified as solid liquid and gaseous waste right now we are going to study each and every type of waste on the basis of their generation now we are going to study in detail how they can be generated non toxic waste non toxic means that is be harmless to human beings plants animals and their environment so most of the domestic waste is non toxic in nature means non poisonous it means that can not harm the environment so this type of waste 
is be known as non toxic like the peels of vegetables peels of fruits etc is be non poisonous or the waste that can be generated from plants and animals that are also be non toxic in nature toxic toxic means that is be poisonous and harmful to the human health and is be create several health problems in humans and in domestic animals this spoil the environment also especially the waste that can be generated from industries biomedical waste and electronic waste are usually toxic in nature means they are be poisonous in nature they pollute air water and soil pathogenic waste pathogen means disease causing microorganisms pathogenic waste contains disease causing microorganisms the waste that can be generated in hospitals is be usually contains infectious microorganisms these type of waste are known as pathogenic waste thank you and have a nice day all